So uh, this is our uh, this is our score script, and in the score script we have the scroll position variable, which is vector two, and um, we use that for a scroll view in the GUI code. And then in the, we just have one function on GUI, and the on GUI function, all we do is we check to see if uh, the person is holding down the sco show scores button, which is uh, by default the tab key. If they are, we draw a GUI box, um, and we call the GUI box scores. Then we uh, we have our GUI layout, and we begin an area, and then we have a small space um, for the GUI layout, and then we have our scroll position, and scroll position equals GUI layout dot begin scroll view uh, scroll position, and this function returns um, a vector two, and so we're and the vector two is uh, equal to the position, the current position of the um, of the scroll, and so this basically makes it so the person can move the scroll around if um, there's a scroll, and the scroll will automatically hide itself if there isn't a uh, if there isn't enough entries for there to be a uh, for there to be a scroll bar. Um, then we go through and for every single player data object we um, make a label and a GUI layout dot label and we just uh, we just uh, first we put a big space and then we uh, add in uh, the player's name then we add in uh, just a space and then uh, then a colon then another space and then we put in the uh, player data uh, score and then we put in this uh, slash n so then we put in the new line character and then this will do this for every single player data object in the scene um, then we end the scroll view and we end the GUI layout area and uh, so this just uh, draws the score this just uh, draws the scoreboard